Guys, so I'm here to go over our Tuesday's tread class with you for tomorrow. I'm going to go over all of the exercises, go through them with you, and give you your options. What you're going to need is a low chair, a dumbbell if you have it, paper plates or vowel slides, and a duffel bag or book bag filled with books to make it heavy. All right, the first exercise is going to be a squat pulse. So you're going to come down into a squat, pulse two, come up. Down into a squat, pulse two, and up. The next exercise, oh, I didn't tell you, you're gonna also need a loop band. The next exercise is going to be a foot elevated loop band crunch with rotation. So you're gonna put tension in this loop band in your hands. You're gonna go in the low chair that you have or stool or table or whatever you're using. And you're gonna come down, hands above your head, come up and with tension on that band, rotate like a Russian twist. Come back down up, rotate. All right. The next one we have is our valve slide mountain climbers. If you have valve slides or paper plates, we will go down into a high plank and this is a typical mountain climber. If you don't have paper plates or valve slides, you'll come into a high plank and just do it regular without the valve slides. Then we have our forward lunge wood chop. So you're gonna grab your duffel bag, heavy bag, whatever you have, and you're gonna go into a front lunge, wood chop, come up with the foot and the bag, other side, wood chop, come up, just like that. Another option if you don't have a bag is you take your dumbbell. Same thing, forward lunge, wood chop, up, back, and up with your dumbbell. Then we have our push up with frog jump. So you're gonna come down to the ground. We are going to push up and jump like a frog, those toes to our hands and jump back. Push up and continue like that. After that, we have our jumping jacks. Typical jumping jacks. If you can't jump, option here, foot out with your arms going in the jumping jack direction. All right, and then we have our sandbag or double bag pull through, or you can use a dumbbell if you have that. You're gonna come into a high plank, pull that double bag all the way through, and pull it all the way back. Trying not to move your hips too much, keeping a nice flat back. And then we have our pike plank alternating toe touch. So you're gonna come back down to the ground in a high plank, and pike up to touch your toe. Just like that. All right, good. And that concludes our Tuesday shred. I will see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m.